Embedded systems are used in single task applications and it is useful in process and control of temperature, pressure, flow, weight, etc. In this project, we present you a model of such an application which is a portable weighing machine with high precision and resolution using a microcontroller. The development of this project was motivated by the thought that precise measurements are very much important in industries. The major emphasis of this project is to overcome the unacceptable delay and very low precision of traditional weighing machines. Day by day, industrial people became aware of the importance of weighing machines which led to the development of digital weighing machines. Heavy duty weighing machines were used by retailers in various commercial applications. Last decade has seen an introduction of various kinds of weighing machines which were used in commercial applications which led to the development of portable weighing machines with high precision and compactness. Even though portable weighing machines are compact, there are few limitations in portable weighing machines such as poor reliability of results and very low precision. So here in this project, we design a portable weighing machine with high precision and resolution using a microcontroller. Now I'm going to explain the basic block diagram of the proposed solution. The material to be weighed is placed on the load cell where it senses the weight of the material and produces an output voltage. The output voltage is sent into an instrumentation amplifier where it is being amplified and sent into a low pass filter where high frequency signals are rejected. The low frequency signals are then sent into an analog to digital converter where it is quantized at regular intervals. The output is in the digital form. It is then sent into a microcontroller where the voltage is converted into mass. It is then displayed in a 16 cross 2 LCD. Load cell is the main part of all the weighing machines. Variety of load cells are available in various kinds of applications. In our project, we have selected the type of double ended load cell for their compact design and excellent load bearing capacity. Load cell that converts mechanical force acting on it into an electrical signal. Internal structure of the load cell is the wheatstone bridge. Initially, the load cell will have the voltage at the low load due to some environmental conditions. To nullify this unwanted voltage, we go for some calibration. The sensitivity of this load cell is 2 mV per volt. The arrangement of the wheatstone bridge is shown here. It consists of four arms AB, BC, CD, and DA. Each and every arm is connected with resistance between them. It consists of fixed known resistance P and Q. Variable resistance S and unknown resistance R across the arm A, B, and D. Okay. Battery is connected across the other two terminal A and C. Now to adjust the variable resistance S until the deflection in the galvanometer becomes null. While there is no current through the galvanometer, the bridge is said to be balanced. That means voltage difference between the point B and D becomes zero. At that condition, current flowing through the po point P and Q is I1 and the current flowing through R and S is I2. As we said earlier, the point D are in same potential. The voltage drop from point A to B is equal to voltage drop from point A to point D. By this way, the load cell has been designed for our project. This is the load cell which we have designed for our project. We have made this using a stainless steel. The length of the load cell is 10 cm and the width is 2.5 cm. The stone bridge comes exactly in the middle of the load cell. Since the sensitivity of the load cell may vary due to some external hindrances, so we use some mold in between the load cell. The output from the load cell is given to the instrumentation amplifier. The instrumentation amplifier takes the difference between the reference voltage and the input voltage and multiplies it with the gain. This gives an amplified output. The pin description for the instrumentation amplifier is shown here. The output from the load cell is given to the th third and second pin. The V rough is taken from the fifth pin. The V out is taken from the sixth pin. The gain of the instrumentation amplifier is calculated by using the formula gain is equal to 1 plus R of by R1. Here R1 is equal to RG. Therefore gain is equal to 1 plus R of by RG. In our project, we have used a microcontroller MSP430 FR569 which has inbuilt ADC in it. And the inbuilt ADC is a 12 bit ADC. On calculation of 12 bit ADC, we get the input voltage. On no load, it is 1.91 and on full load, it is 2.85. On calculating for the count, we get 1100 counts. The count is very less on calibration. So we go for an external ADC in our project. And the external ADC is ADS1258, which is a 24-bit Sigma Delta ADC. 
the count in this adc is calculating the count for sigma delta adc we get a count of 45 lakhs 5881 counts precision can be precisely increased when compared to the existing system on calibration of the count considering to mass we get this range from 1 kg to 1 mg on calculating for single mg it is 4.505881 counts the ports 10 10 on adjacent sides our project uses port 1.2 and 1.3 for register select and enable and port 1.4 to 1.7 for data lines and we use ground and vcc for the supply of circuits oh. lcd is interfaced with the microcontroller using 4 bit mode that is a nibble mode and here we have uh, we led black light negative positive and these are the data lines and here we have the enable port uh, read write port and here we have the uh, register select and this is for the v v e e and this is v d d and this is v s s this is the full model setup of our digital weighing machine and initially the lcd display is set to zero 50 g standard weight is placed on the weighing machine now the display shows 52 g and this extra 2 grams is because of the external disturbances weighing machines are present in the market places all around the world however it's sometimes tampered with our project has provided a simple solution for this issue portable weighing machine that can accurately show the weight of an object and most importantly it can be carried by oneself without any hindrance unlike the traditional weighing machines our project has achieved its goal in producing a high precision portable weighing machine it has various application in the field of research weighing jewelry and in courier offices etc for example in the above mentioned industries every milligram of it is precious so it's always better to check it ourselves to ensure that this portable weighing machine is used hence in the future this portable weighing machine can be used anywhere required we have limited the range to 500 grams it can be even extended thank you